perspective, I'd like to introduce Craig Bright. Good morning, Sama. Good morning. Thank you, Rich, for that nice introduction, and thank you all for coming. Is everybody ready to get found on Google? <laughs> all right. The internet is a great marketing tool. I think it's the best marketing tool. It's one of the few mediums where customers are actually searching for us and our products. I want to make it clear, we're not talking about these sponsored links to the side, and we're not, sometimes there's one or two at the top. What we're talking about is these free, and by the way, did I mention everything I'm going to talk about today is free? Free results, they call them the natural search results. These free results on the first page, and the goal of search engine optimization, SEO, is to get your business as high as you can on here. Number one, get your business on page one. Statistics show that, that most people didn't go past page two. So you want to get on page one, and you want to get as high as you can on page one. And that is what we do. We optimize our website for search engines to get high rank. Have, have any of you all ever done a search and, and gotten that map right there? That is the first tip we're going to talk about. And it, it's Google local business. It just changed the name. Stuff is changing all the time. Google changed it to Google Places two weeks ago. But it's Google Local Business, and it's actually part of Google Maps. It's a uh, division of Google Maps. Folks, this is the quickest, easiest way I know to get your business at the top. The title meta tag is what appears in that top blue bar in Internet Explorer. This is the top corner I've blown up from my website that, that I sell that product. This top blue bar is the meta, uh, title meta tag. When you put that in the programming code, and by the way, any design program, your web designer, whether you're using Dreamweaver or what, WordPress, whatever program you're using to, to program your website, it has to be programmed, your website designer has the opportunity to give each page, not just the home page, each page a title. And that's a common mistake. People, number one, they get the wrong keywords in their title, and then they have the same title on every page of their website. Each page of your website should be focused on a different keyword. Your home page being your most important keyword, and the order is important. All right, enough about keywords. So you got high ranking, you're on page one. So what? They've got a lot of stuff going on, and the more you're picked from those 10 free results and all the sponsored links, the more you're picked for that keyword, Google tracks that and they reward you. And, uh, and you do that with title and description meta tag. We talked about the title meta tag. I'm going to show you what I mean by that. This is back to our, our friends at the surfboard shop. This is the free results. I've blown this up. These are the sponsored links. They've got a lot going on. That's what I mean. Just because you're on page one doesn't mean they're going to pick you from all the choices they have. So how do you strategize and get picked more? Hope everybody can see this. Um, th let's pick on Jack's surfboards. And I want to make that a little bigger, but in a minute. But basically, that title meta tag we talked about in the top blue bar, is also, you ever wondered what that, that top bl first blue line in bold is on the Google search results? That's the title meta tag again. That's where it shows up again. So not only is it in the top blue bar, it's in the top of there. So that's the title meta tag. Think of that as the attention grabbing headline of the newspaper. You can use that to grab their attention, get them to look at your listing. I mean, they're seconds. You only have seconds to get their attention there. Then, once you've got their attention with that title meta tag, which is the same that's in the top blue bar on your website, then the next two sentences in, in smaller black print are what's called the description meta tag. Again, the meta tags are just going on in the background of the website. Your web designer will know exactly how to do them. YouTube video, this isn't even in the book. It's so new. We are seeing immediate results from YouTube video. Google's the number one website in the world. YouTube is the number three website in the world. Google owns YouTube. So whatever you're doing on YouTube, Google's paying attention to. How do we do it? All right. We like Steve, obviously. <laughs> Thank you, Steve, for letting me share. All right, so how do you do that? Keywords. 
When you upload a video to YouTube, and it's simple, simple to do, you, you have to optimize that video for your website. Don't just upload it. That's what most business owners make the mistake. Others upload a video. You have to optimize it. How do we do that? You get a title. Title of the video always goes up here. And by the way, they're changing this format. This is the latest as of yesterday. But uh, this, I'll get to that in a minute. But, um, so that's the title. Laser Cutting Metal Fabrication, Houston, Austin, San Antonio. Very, very important keywords. So that's the title you give it. And then down below, this used to be over here on the side. They just moved it a couple months ago. Down below is what they call the description of the video. And I know y'all can't read that. But let me just tell you, keywords are important in the description. But the most important thing, here's what everybody misses. Write this down. Put your website link in there. That's how Google makes the tie-in to you. Remember, Google owns YouTube. They're watching what's going on in YouTube. So if you've given it a title with keywords, they're thinking, oh, this video has to do with those keywords. And oh, they're linked to this website. Oh, they must have a lot to do with those keywords. There's a certain way you have to list it. Again, these instructions are in the, on the website. Your web, website link to make it live, to make it clickable, so when you click that, it goes to your website. You have to put the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www. Don't just put www.yourwebsite.com. All right, here's Steve's website. What I wanted to show you was step two you have to do with the YouTube videos is actually embed the videos into your website. Those bottom two are just windows. And when you embed a, it's just like embedding a picture, but you're embedding a YouTube video, your website designer should know how to do this because it's just about as easy as embedding a picture. When you do this, that's, and you click play, that's actually playing from YouTube. They're not playing from your website, and that's kind of cool because you're not using up your bandwidth. So it's actually playing from YouTube in that placeholder. But that's not the important thing. The important thing is that's the other tie-in that YouTube or Google makes. Oh, they've linked it to their website. Now they've taken this video about press breaks in Houston, Texas, and embedded it into their website. It's the second way they recognize that. In conclusion, I hope I've gotten you excited about the opportunity on the Internet. And these are simple techniques, but do it often. Google knows how often your website's been updated. Those, those little programs, they call them spiders, that Google goes out and crawls the internet, they, they, they hit your website probably at least once a week. And they take a quick snapshot. If, and they can tell if anything's changed. Some of the text, any new images or anything. If nothing's changed, they just move on. And Google's vast universe is all tied together. We talked about Google Local Business, which is, I need to update this slide, it's called Google Places now. We talked about Google Image Search, and we talked about YouTube. Google's looking down over all their entities, and they're saying, oh, they're, they're making the connection. So if you're doing things on all these, you're making the connection. So, that's the book. It's got uh, uh, questions at the end of each chapter. It's got blank lines. You can make your notes on the topics. I'm sorry we're running over time, but let's open it for questions. Right, sir? Anybody else? Wrap, wrap it up. Thank you all very much. Thank you.